So what advice would you have for Barack Obama as he gets ready to meet with Israeli and Palestinian leaders on his trip to the Middle East? Uh, he, I think the key thing is for him to not be overly ambitious in terms of what he's actually going to be able to achieve. I think he needs to set reasonable expectations that this is something where uh, it's a chance for him to, to visit places and see people who, some of whom he's seen before, others of whom he hasn't, uh, and be able to really uh, witness firsthand some of the challenges that are facing people in the region. Right. Uh, in terms of you know what, what would be most helpful, uh, it's going to be for him to bring attention to places like Stay Road if, he's, if he is in fact going to visit there, which will uh, raise a broader issue of what happens when Israelis withdraw from a territory and then are concerned about the repercussions for the dangers they face from uh, attacks being generated from those areas, uh, which potentially could happen again should Israel get back any territory in the West Bank. Uh, and then you know, there's other things also where you have the democratically elected leadership of the uh, Palestinian people, and if he is um, you know, meeting with Mr. Abbas, well, that's a, a separate issue as well, uh, of making sure that he's hearing him out and, and better understanding the Palestinian positions uh, while not making necessarily any overly broad promises to anybody, because uh, the situation is pretty fluid and it's a little difficult to make promises you may not be able to keep. Right. And, but it seems like a trip like this, that there's hardliners on both sides that might be offended that he's meeting with a certain person or, or anything like that. Is, is there any way to avoid that, that kind of... No, you're never going to be able to avoid it. I mean, you're always going to upset someone. But realistically, this is something where I think that the American people overall have been really sensible in understanding the challenges right. the Israelis face of, uh, in terms of ongoing terrorist threats. Uh, it's a place where when you're, you're going there in uh, just a short time after the Israelis have uh, had this prisoner exchange for you know, the, the remains of Israeli soldiers. You can see the value of life and the value that Israelis place on each individual soldier that's there. Uh, and it's something where they clearly would like to be able to avoid that. And at the same time, you have plenty of Palestinians who, uh, just regular people who want, perfectly are happy to have peace and want to be able to be in a situation where they can live securely as well and comfortably. And I think that if he could demonstrate that he wants to help solve things, but that he needs to really hear from people about how they can, you know, what they need to help solve it, uh, that's going to be better than telling them right. what they should be doing. And is there any spe specific policy <coughs> sorry, or, or issue that, that he should announce or, or say there, or, or should he just really stick to, to, to a plan? I, I don't think that this is a place to be making okay. any broad policy statements. I think that uh, this is a place where there will be certain benefits that he'll have for the rest of the campaign as well as potentially into his administration by having visited there uh, and having seen the status of uh, some of the positive things that have happened in the region and the collaboration that has gone on, but also to recognize that there is a lot more to go. I think that any broader statement that he's going to have is better left for after achieving some success, where if you are going to be in Germany or some other places where we're 20 years removed from changes there, well, that's a much better place to give a position in terms of where we are now than it is to be in the middle of something that we don't know where it's going to go. And, and just lastly, in terms of logistics, is there anything that, that his people should, should, keep, should keep in mind? Yes, get a very good interpreter. Um, the most important thing probably is, uh, is to make sure that the people, uh, that they're getting the proper uh, translation of what anyone's saying so that after the fact no one can send around a different translation and suggest that it actually is worse uh, than or something bad, which wasn't intended. Yeah.